Okay, so now I'm going to look at uh, hidden variables in a Gaussian mixture model. Okay. So, uh, so let's say we have uh, n mu, right, be a Gaussian distribution. y with mean mu and variance 1. So, um, so we can treat it like the more general case where you have a known uh, sort of covariance matrices in a similar way. Um, but we're just going to look at this simple example uh, for illustrative purposes. So you can consider the more general case. <coughs> of an unknown covariance matrix. In a similar way. but we consider the simplified case uh, just for um, illustration. <clears throat> okay, all right. So, so then it's like you want to take a, a Gaussian mixture Right, so the Gaussian mixture model um, is a mixture of uh, K Gaussian distributions. with different means. Let's call that mu1 to mu k. Right, so the probability distribution, which depends on x, and uh, parametric depends on c, right, is uh, just 1 over square root of 2 pi, the sum of these weights, wj, and then exponential of minus y minus mu j squared divided by 2, where uh, this cos c are given by um, sort of the weights w1 to wk uh, and the means mu1 to mu k. And this constraint, it's like on the weights, so we're looking at convex combinations, it's like of these uh, Gaussian distributions, uh, so the weights have to be, uh, have to sum it to one. Okay, and these are uh, the unknown parameters to be estimated. So you like to estimate both the, the means as well as the weights associated with them. Um, okay. So estimation is easy. If uh, for each of the yi's. We know the Gaussian distribution. from which this is generated.
So I'm going to uh, introduce a hidden variable. Let's call it h, uh, which takes uh, value i. It's like when you're drawing this from the uh, i-th distribution. So, uh, so why is that helpful? That's helpful because there's uh, um, <coughs> the this uh, hidden variable h is a random variable, right? And the probability distribution, it's like which it follows, uh, is related. It's like to these weights w i, okay? So. H is a random variable. Right. And the uh, distribution of which is uh, multinomial. Um, and takes value i, right, with probability wi. Okay, so that's nice. So you can construct, so with that, you know, interpretation, we can now write down, it's like the joint probability distribution in a very simple way. So the entire joint probability distribution Right, it's given by P um, Y H because C is W H over square root of two pi. Exponential of <coughs> minus one half. Uh, y minus mu h squared. Okay, and h goes from one to k. And then what happens is that this now is the uh, marginal distribution of this joint probability distribution. Which is obtained summing h going from 1 to k, right, is given by this uh, expression. Okay, so that's, uh, that's an interesting way of thinking about, um, you know, it's like taking the um, estimation problem and the Gaussian mixture problem and embedding it into a bigger problem uh, where, again, you view this now as uh, having an additional hidden variable, if you will. Okay, all right, so, so that's, uh, that's one uh, example. It's like of how uh, a hidden variable formulation, it's like uh, arises when you're considering the Gaussian mixture model. All right, so, um, so let's stop here for now and second, then we'll look at another example. And then once we've done that, uh, we'll then show how the uh, EM algorithm it's like comes into play. And, and the basic idea behind that is that now you have uh, two sets, if you will, it's like what you're trying to find the, you know, it's like the um, closest 
points, if you will, too, right? Because one of the sets has to do with the statistical model space, uh, and the other set has to do with the data. So the data is no longer a single point. It's now sort of a cloud, if you will. It's like a possible, um, you know, it's like probably distributions which are compatible, it's like with the observations. And so you want to find it's like this kind of closest point. Uh, and the way, of course, you do this is through this kind of repeated projection um, back and forth, um, which is exactly what the EN, uh, EM algorithm is doing. Okay, so let me just uh, stop here for now.